uh, tell us what's happening. So a year and a half ago, I quit my corporate job to start Lily Marie Parties, which is a party planning company that specializes in children's parties. So I love my job, love being a business owner, but there's days where I feel like I just gave up all my old problems for a set of new ones. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna make every month, so planning my finances is a lot harder than when I had a steady income. Um, I also don't know how much I should be putting away for retirement versus investing back into my company. So I'd love some advice on setting up a financial plan for an entrepreneur who doesn't have a steady income. I mean, Lindsay, you're not alone. <laughs> like, you're also not alone. I hear this so often. And so I know that as a new entrepreneur, when you're just starting out, that this is really difficult because there's so many questions that you have. You know, from day to day, it's how am I going to save money? You know, am I pricing my services correctly? I'm sure is one yeah. for you. And then how do I budget when I don't even know what to expect? But the thing is that it's even more important now that you get really clear on all of this, because unlike when you had the safety net of a job, if you don't get this in order, you stand to lose the business that you started to create, that you've worked so hard on, and you also stand to put yourself in financial ruin, and that's also not what you want. What advice would you have for her? Well, one of your biggest issues that I see right now is that you're trying to budget inconsistent income, and that's really difficult. So my first thing is gonna be something that you don't wanna hear, I'm sure, but no matter what the circumstances are, you have to save 10% of any income that you get because now you're responsible for yourself. There is no safety net. But to do that, you wanna create a realistic budget. And so step one to that is actually looking to determine your average monthly income. So you wanna go through the last three months and figure out what the average has been. And then next, you wanna decrease non-necessities. See, the, the average monthly income is gonna help you start the plan off and then you have to compare that income with your expenses. And if you can only meet your expenses on the good months, then that means you have some cutting to do. Next, you wanna declare a cushion. So that means to your point about, you know, how much do I start to save? Again, I suggest 10%, but even if you have to start at 5%, you put that away because you are gonna have bad months. That's the reality of being a business owner. And the only way to prepare for that is if you create the cushion. And what she's saying is spot on, and this is practical advice. I happen to be a full-blown, unapologetic dreamer. If you have a dream to open your business, it is the unknown of jumping. But let me ask you something. You quit your corporate job to pursue this. Are you happier? So much happier. Do you feel more fulfilled when you're doing your business? Every day. More gratification? Every day. I would trade that in for any job. Mm -hmm. The problem is people are afraid. People are afraid of the unknown. What if it don't work? Yeah. What if it do? Yeah. You ever looked at that? What if it do? So stop letting fear dictate your life to you. <laughs> That's all. Patrice's book, everybody, is called Real Money Answers for Every Woman. It's being re-released. You got to get this book, ladies. It's really chock full of great information to help you get your finances on track. We'll be right back, everybody. Um.